Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Diamondback DB15 DMB. A very nice rifle from Diamondback. Now, we may think of Diamondback as making the very small DB9 handgun. They also make the larger AM2. This is a rifle in which they make several rifles and AR pistols. What I like about this, which is chambered in 5.56 NATO, is that everything that you need comes with it in the case. Now, when I bought my Colt 6920 approximately 10 years ago, I had to add about $300 worth of accessories to get it to the way I wanted it. This comes Cerakoted, as well as an incredible aluminum head guard here. We're gonna take a closer look, but everything that you would want to add is already added, and the MSRP is just under $1,100. This is my third time out at the range with it. I took it to a longer distance range, shot over 100 yards, and we're gonna take a look at that. And what I'm shooting now is probably 75, 80 yards, but I shot over 100, it performed great. Let's look at those scenes and then we'll get a closer look at this rifle. Let's take a closer look at this DB15. It comes standard with a Magpul ACSL stock. Now these run over 70 bucks. I had to add it to my Colt when I got that. This comes standard with it. Also a Magpul K2 grip. Now what makes this different is that it's a little more vertical, makes it comfortable when shooting. And I like the texturing on there. Feels like a real strong rubber. This is a CMC drop-in trigger. It's set at three and a half pounds. Flat face trigger, very nice. I'm going to get a close-up on that when shooting. But look at the trigger guard, the way that is angled down there to give a little bit more room. And you can see that it is cut out as well. So it's got a nice look and feel to it. When shooting, it is, it's very nice. DB15 logo there. Another Diamondback logo. Now I took these optics off of my Colt 6920. This is a Vortex 3 times magnifier and a Strike Fire 2. I like, I, you know, it just works. I figured that out a while back and decided to add it to this rifle. Now the handguard, okay, 70, 75 aluminum handguard M-lock slots there. I love the way this thing is cut and the way it looks. You can see that it has holes in there to lighten it up. An integrated rail to add a front sight. Already mentioned M-lock slots and check that out. It's just a beautiful overall look. Now the Cerakote color on this is Midnight Bronze and it just works with this rifle. It does have a Diamondback flash hider there. It's a CNC flash hider. It actually says Diamondback uh, at the muzzle end of that. But uh, I'll get a close-up on that so you can check that out. But look at this thing. You don't really need to add anything other than the, the front sight, which I'm going to add eventually as a backup to the optics. We'll check out this side here. Okay, you can see that cut in an angle there. Very nice setup. Dust cover, 5.56 NATO. The bolt carrier group also is laser engraved with the Diamondback logo. And there it is, and there's that stock again. Very much impressed. I've, I've taken it to the range a couple times. I'm, I'm planning on keeping this as my, uh, my primary 5.56 rifle. This rifle has a 16 inch black nitride barrel with a one by eight right hand twist. The top of the receiver is T-marked so that if you remove your optics, you can 
mark where you had them based on the numbers there. Also, the handguard is anti-rotation. You can see that it's bolted on the side and underneath. But what I want to check out here is the trigger. So let me zoom in a little bit and we'll get a close up on this trigger as we fire. So there it is, Diamondback DB-15. It's a nice looking rifle, it's an excellent shooting rifle, and the entire package is pretty impressive. I look forward to showing more of this off in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.